Yes, indeed. I understand that he is superstitious. He's wearing his lucky shoes because of that fact. Scalpers aid notice. Yeah, we know it's tough to find a laugh these days. So we brought in one of the best of the business. Wish Hello. New, all the best for the new year. How Thank was your you, festive? You Good. It was nice. Yeah, it was nice. I've got a lot I want to talk about. Oh, lots of um, cannon fodder in there. So yeah. what, what every parent hopes for, let's kick it off with a, a child dancing naked through the streets. Come yeah, on. Yeah, so basically uh, I want to start with something that it's not very recent, but she did recently go on the cover of Heis Genoot um, or in the Heis Genoot telling her side of the story. So if you, don't, if you don't know the story, there's a girl that danced naked at Plet Rage and a WhatsApp video of her was sent around to, to everyone. Everyone okay? in the entire world. Um, yeah, it's, you can't find it on the internet. If you do find it somewhere, please just forward <laughs> it to me. But... She danced naked. You, wait, you and gave it there. You gave it three seconds yeah, waiting she, for the video to come uh, no, up. No, no, because for like, a second I was like, is it's that... It's coming up in three, so, two... So she, she, she danced <laughs> naked, she danced naked, and um, basically she went in the ice and she started blaming everyone but herself. She first blamed her guy friends that she was with. I'm like... Shame on you. We know matric boys. <laughs> Guys, like, what matric boy <laughs> is going to be like, okay, this girl who I've crushed on, my whole high school career is going to go dance naked on the stage right now. What matric guy is going to go... I don't know if that's such a yeah, good idea. Put your idea. phones away, guys. Put He's, your yo, phones yo, guys, away, guys. Don't, please, don't no. video her. No, they're going to go, I'll hold your handbag. You know what I mean? And, and then the second, pers the second well, person she blamed, of course, she blamed her on the uh, 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 alcohol. Uh, okay. So, and I thought that was unfair because the alcohol was just at the bar. Like, what did we do, guys? Just like, chilling with his mates. Yeah, He's like, like hey, the Brandy was like, hey, bro, what? Hey, are you, are you, are you no, tuning me? Hey, Brandy hey, you want to fight? fight? Want to fight? Want to fight? fight? The ciders are like, guys, stop it. <laughs> That's how ciders are talking. Yaku, how up? Yaku, yaku, how up? Yaku, stop it. Stop Yaku, ah, ah, how up? You do it all day, Yaku. <laughs> So that was, and you know what's going to start happening now? That the, the, the sad thing is now this year's matrix. They tell their parents we're going to go to play rage. What they're going to say? Uh uh no, because that's all the girl, that girl that was at play. You're not going there. So now all the matrix. Before you know it, they're just going to be going to Khodini. That's <laughs> the only place <laughs> that parents are going to feel safe. So, and I did a show. I love Khodini. I did a show in Khodini. Big in Khodini, this, right? Decem this, this December, I'm I'm big at the Magnum stall <laughs> at Khodini, and <laughs> and the audience were in the pool. No jokes, they were in the pool. And it was the first time, I've heard, I've had people walking out of my shot. I've never had a tiny swim so out of my shot. She's like, no, this guy's I'm, I'm sorry, I'm waiting I'm out I'm here. I'm going, I'm going. Oh, man, worst okay. yet, alcohol's going to get discriminated against now as well. Then, man. now that we're in 2017, yeah. I know it's a good year because what made the news is that a big Airbus is landing for the first time at Oratumbo. How big, like? Big, big. Like big, like over 500 seats. But that's how you know 2017 is off to a chill start, <laughs> if that's the news. Last, last year, this time, we were still dealing with Penny Sparrow. Now yeah. it's just like, What's your name, Yaku? There's a mooshe vliegtuig op our dambu, mama. Okay, like A big, fat airplane, no political motivation there at all. And, um, and then, um, so, guys in Bloemfontein, two yeah. guys in Bloemfontein, uh, they appeared in court, they were selling matric certificates. And selling matric certificates in Bloemfontein. Oh, oh. Um, which I wonder like how that works. Like, do they put a package together? Like is a <laughs> is a C cheaper do than you pay a? a little bit more, yeah. And you also need to you need to be careful because you can't be you can't be like scraping through in grade eleven and then you can get seven <laughs> A's in matric. Yeah. So you need to put the package together, like like do you throw a few D's in there, like maybe one A for our Tailor make it. Tailor make it for your level of stupidity. Yeah, yeah, because you can't go for a job interview and they're like, huh, grade eleven. <laughs> Matric, seven wow. Seven distinctions. Seven man. distinctions. That's, that's amazing. Yeah, I, I work really hard in Matric. I just turned my <laughs> life around. Um, and then Maria Sharapova is returning to tennis after 15 months. It was supposed to be 18, but she's knocked it down. Yeah, now. I feel sorry for I mean, that's like, the, that's like when a girl in school goes to rehab and then comes back. It's you know, exactly it's always that. like a very awkward, everyone's like, hey. <laughs> How you doing? How was your holiday? <laughs> <laughs> How's your hiatus? For um, and then. Lastly, Sasa Dlamini, yeah. who got into Harvard. Can we have another didn't, resounding... Hey, Sasa! Didn't, didn't tell his parents, there he is, didn't tell his parents that he's applying for Harvard, he didn't want to uh, disappoint his dad. Um, which, like, Sasa, you need to get out of that home situation, dude. Like, your dad is hectic. If you're, da if you're saying, Dad, I'm applying to Harvard, and he's going, don't disappoint me, you, you better, better get in. part of that top 0.001 like, percentile, my friend. In, in a few years, like, Dad, I'm, I'm, I'm buying a ticket for the lotto. Don't disappoint me now. You better <laughs> win that thing. So I heard that he was one of five 
0.79% out of more than 35,000 applicants. Now, I worked out 35,000 times 5.79%. So he's one of 226 and a half people. <laughs> so now that half, half, man. That half is half. confusing me because that means that there's someone applying for Harvard, just half a dude walking in <laughs> on his hands. On the skateboard. Yeah, you know, and then, the... which also means that there's another half, like a pair of legs, walking around in Bloemfontein trying to buy him a trick certificate. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but he knows there's two guys that he can go to now. Yeah. Oh, Skalky, we love you, my friend. Cool, thank, thank you so you. much. My belly is aching, my face is thank aching. You, thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank, you. You. <laughs> thank you for bringing your lucky shoes today. May they bring you fame and fortune this year. You can catch them at a wimpy near you. Um, well, that's the funny side of life. You can let us know if there are any stories we missed. The more absurd, the better. But still plenty coming your way after the break. Let's see what's coming up.